The human stomach, at rest, holds about 7 ounces of stomach acid and bile. However, it has the capacity to hold nearly a half pound of food at a time if necessary. Foods high in sugars are digested very quickly, making you feel hungry faster, while foods high in protein and fats digest much slower allowing you to go longer before getting those pesky hunger pains. But what if you swallowed something that was technically not food, like common household items, like a toothbrush or a pair of jeans? You can laugh now, but it's not so funny for our animal friends in the world. Sometimes and often, by accident, the most unbelievable things end up inside our beloved animal friends. Some things, like the blue whale's giant heart, were meant to be there. Here are the weirdest things ever found inside animals. I'm surprised I haven't lost fingers yet, you know, is what I always told myself, and I'm glad it's not my hand. Number 14. Biggest Ever Whale Heart As the largest animal to have ever lived, the blue whale might have some record-breaking internal organs. Wild stories of its heart being as big as a car, with the aorta, its main artery, large enough for a human to swim through, and so on. In 2015, when a dead blue whale washed ashore in Newfoundland, Canada, experts saw a valuable opportunity. We had to get the chest cavity open to expose the heart and then get in there and free the heart up from all the surrounding tissues, getting in with what was left of the lungs and blood pretty much up to my waist, explains Jacqueline Miller, a mammalogy technician from the Royal Ontario Museum. It took four of us to push the heart out through a window we'd made between the ribs and the side of the chest cavity. The aorta was also discovered to be slightly smaller than it was reported to be, probably capable of fitting a human head inside. But at almost 400 pounds, it was still hefty, and the team used about 1,000 gallons of formaldehyde, which stops tissue from decomposing any further, to begin the preservation process. To our knowledge, this is is the first blue whale heart to be anatomically preserved for exhibit and study. The ROM says the blue whale heart, along with the skeleton of the animal it came from, will eventually be put on display at the museum. To give you some perspective, a human heart weighs about 10 ounces. There are 16 ounces in a pound. A blue whale's heart weighs about 640 times as much as a human heart. Before we move on, if you don't smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell today, it, the clown, will appear under your bed tonight. Number 13. Frog pukes up new ant species. In 2016, a team of scientists in Ecuador discovered a new species of ant in the vomit of a little devil frog called Diabolito. In fact, using vomit from frogs to source valuable information is a thing. Discovering new insect species in the tropical rainforest is an immense challenge for scientists, but much easier for frogs, who are constantly consuming ants. In fact, poison frogs obtain their chemical defenses from alkaloids present in the insects they eat. It's believed that the frogs' toxic secretions are thanks to a steady diet of ants whose own diets contain alkaloids from plants. These alkaloids play a part in how poison dart frogs convert their own snacks into deadly defense mechanisms against larger predators. For this reason, scientists often look to frogs, and specifically the contents of their stomachs, to see what interesting species might be lurking. To examine stomach contents, scientists will place a tube in the frog's mouth and fill it with water, causing the animal to vomit. The frog is then returned to its habitat to continue to its insect hunt. And the good news is, this never-before-seen ant might not be alone. The researchers say there are still more unidentified insects that have been found lurking in the devil frog's stomach. 45 types of ant and 9 types of mite have been spotted in sampled stomachs so far, and the frogs are unharmed by the process. So, it's a win-win. Number 12. The Sad Tale of Omsen Sometimes the food you eat is not food, like in this case. In 2017, a 25-year-old Thai sea turtle died from blood poisoning from eating spare change. The green turtle, named Omsen Piggy Bank in Thai, underwent a seven-hour-long operation this month to remove 11 pounds of coins which he had mistaken for food. In total, 915 coins were removed from her stomach that were thrown into her pool for good luck. Now that is irony. But Omsen, who lived at a concert Conservation Center in Chomburi, east of the Thai capital Bangkok, was rushed into intensive care after caretakers noticed the poor animal was breathing too slowly. She received an emergency operation on Monday, after which she went into a coma. The turtle had appeared to be doing well after the operation, but a checkup Saturday revealed problems with her intestines. The gap in Omsen's stomach left by the removal of the coins caused her intestine to become strangled, blocking blood flow. The 
the vet said. Acute infection in the intestine then caused blood infection. Doctors performed a second two and a half hour operation, but Omsen never woke up and died Tuesday morning. She at least had the chance to swim freely and eat happily before she passed, said Dr. Chan Su, who led the team that removed the coins from her stomach. Omsen's plight captured the hearts of many people in Thailand, though. Turtles are viewed as a symbol of longevity, but there's a simple way to save our turtles from Omsen's fate. Think twice before tossing coins into turtle ponds. Number 11 the squid bomb. Even the most experienced of fishermen don't think that their daily catch will blow them to smithereens, but this unbelievable story will blow your minds. A Chinese fishmonger was going about his business when he randomly discovered a bomb inside the stomach of a squid he was gutting. It was netted in shallows off the coast of Jai Ling, where squid like to hunt, mine sweeping the sandy bed for bite-sized sea life. Apparently, a three-pound squid had swallowed an eight-inch bomb by accident, and the bomb was live. Perhaps he thought the bomb was his favorite food and gulped it down. He certainly had a big belly when he was caught, said the fishmonger, so he called police instantly, who arrived at the scene and took the ordinance away to perform a controlled explosion. Local authorities have assumed that it was an explosive dropped off by fighter jets, but the bomb is undated, even though its age was unknown and that it didn't look like a bomb, in the sense of what you may imagine you think a bomb would look, it was still active and could have been detonated and bye-bye fishmonger if that had happened. Fortunately, he managed to escape unscathed. His delicate knife work discovered the bomb, which he speculated got in the squid's stomach because the squid had mistaken it for a small fish and prawn, the fishmonger stated. It's good to maintain a sense of humor in these situations. Number 10. Blanket eating python. Temperature is very important to snakes. Since they're cold-blooded, they rely on their surroundings to control their body heat. And this poor snake named Houdini was no exception. Houdini, the Burmese python, gave his owner a shock after swallowing a queen-size electric blanket, including the electrical cord and control box. Now, that's a hot meal. Owner Carl Beznoska told the local newspaper that he noticed Houdini was not looking well, and the blanket kept in his cage for warmth had disappeared, possibly entangled in Houdini rabbit dinner. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. X-rays showed the blanket's wires running through eight feet of the python's 12-foot body, and emergency surgery was needed to remove them. But neither of the vets, Mr. Fodstimps, nor his colleague at Kitchum's St. Francis Pet Clinic had operated on a snake before, and had to telephone two specialists for advice after Houdini was brought in. But luckily, Houdini recovered. Vets say it would have taken the python six hours to swallow the blanket. They believe 18-year-old Houdini would have died had they not performed the two-hour operation. The snake owner had Houdini for over 16 years and calls him a good boy and very mellow and very friendly. So much so that the 60-pound python is a local celebrity and a popular visitor to schools and libraries. His most famous trick, making bunnies and blankets disappear. Number 9. Tiger Shark Murder Mystery. Picture it. Sydney, Australia, 1935. Visitors to the Coogee Aquarium were shocked when a 14-foot tiger shark on exhibition coughed up a human arm. Not your usual trip to the aquarium. About a week later, fisherman Bert Hobson and his son Charles had caught the large fish while they were fishing at Coogee Beach in New South Wales, a couple of miles southeast of Sydney. They were trying to catch a much smaller shark. Interestingly enough, though, their captured fish served as bait itself and brought the significantly larger shark closer to shore and onto the hook in a manner of speaking. She was alive and helplessly tangled up, so they carefully brought her up to the Kuji Aquarium. But the shark refused to eat. Little did staff know that the shark had swallowed more than it could digest in this case and would spit a full man's arm in the pool right in front of customers' horrified eyes. Whose arm was it? Well, the limb was that of a male and bore a tattooed picture of a boxer. Only two people in and around Sydney, Australia, were found to have such a distinctive tattoo. One of them had both his arms still attached to his body, while the second, who according to his family, was last seen a couple of weeks before this incident. They confirmed he had the exact boxer tattooed on his left arm. His name was James Jimmy Smith. He was a former boxer, and the hand was his, and his family never saw the rest of him again. Unfortunately, aside from the confirmed identity, the crime remained unsolved and the case in time grew to be the shark arm case, one of the greatest murder mysteries in all of Australia. Number 8. Predator vs. Predator What does a Burmese python eat? Whatever it likes. 
Well, not really. The snakes, which can grow up to about 20 feet long, devour animals as large as deer and even predators like large reptiles. Recently, biologists at the University of Alabama took x-ray images of a Burmese python after it swallowed an alligator, yet an alligator, to observe the digestion process. Pythons are able to swallow their meals whole by dislocating their jaw. When it does eventually capture a prey and feed, the python's previously dormant gut rapidly resumes function to tackle the difficult task of digesting a prey that may exceed half of the python's own body mass, biologist Stephen Secor writes in the Journal of Experimental Biology. The snake's metabolic rate increases by up to 40 times until digestion is complete. A number of the reptile's organs, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, also nearly double in size. Crazy, right? Once prey is ingested, the reptile's gut tissue begins secreting digestive acids and enzymes to digest the alligator's soft tissue. Hydrochloric acid production in the gut increased and the gut pH drops from 7.5 to an acidic 2. Within just three days, the body of the alligator has already begun to break down. By day four, most of the soft tissue and most of the bones have been digested, leaving just the tough skin and skeleton which passes into the large intestine where it's digested even further. Following six days, almost the whole alligator has been broken down and by day seven, the entire meal has been digested. Sounds like a lot of work to me. Number seven. The Sydney Sunfish Newspaper Once upon a time, fish came wrapped in newspaper when you ordered a pub food favorite, fish and chips. But what about a newspaper found stuffed inside a fish? Curators at the Natural History Museum in London, England went to work restoring the insides of an amazing 3-meter high sunfish. After some investigating, they found straw inside the fish, bits of old floorboards, an old wicker chair seat, and a fragment from the Sydney Morning Herald from January 26th, 1883. It weighed over a ton and was 11 feet from tip to tip of the fins. After the sunfish was reeled in, the still living fish was lifted by crane onto a truck on the wharf where the foreman intervened and sent the fish to be properly handled. It was then they discovered the unusual contents of the sunfish's stomach. Now part of the Natural History Museum's collection, after 130 years, the fish was compacting and splitting under its own weight and many of its seams had split, according to Miss Allington Jones and fellow conservator Chelsea McKibben. So they humidified the skin to make it more pliable. While removing the stuffing, the experts were confused yet delighted to also discover unusual artifacts, especially the newspaper from so long ago. The fish has now been repaired and suspended on a new metal frame to enable safe storage and movements around the museum. I guess it's safe to cancel the subscription. Number 6 Mummified Crocodiles Since 1828, the National Museum of Antiquities in Leiden, Netherlands has had a 9.8 foot long mummified Nile crocodile on display for its patrons. With the goal to make the museums more attractive, it involved taking detailed scans of the museum's animal collection to properly expand on their attraction. So officials brought in a specialized CT scanner to make the exhibit interactive. Little did the museum officials know that more than 100 years later, they'd find the crocodile they knew so well was actually full of an additional 47 crocodiles that were individually mummified, wrapped, and stuffed inside the larger mummy. Say what? The goal here was to produce high quality scans of the crocodile so guests could perform a virtual autopsy on the specimen, looking inside of it using cutting edge technologies. Once the scans came back, they were shocked to find so many other baby crocodiles inside. Mummified baby crocodiles, let's not forget, wrapped and stuffed. This isn't the first time that researchers had scanned the croc, which is thought to be about 2,500 years old. Back in the 1990s, Officials performed x-ray scans on it, revealing that there was a second crocodile inside, but finding at least 47 more must have been quite the discovery. One can only imagine how this mystery unfolded. Number 5 severed fingers. In 2012, Hans Galassi, an experienced wakeboarder, found that his hand became trapped in the rope that was to pull him along. As it tightened, his fingers were severed. I pulled my hand out of the water and it had pretty much lopped off all four fingers, he told local papers and joked that they were 
fish food. Well, guess what? That is exactly what happened to one of them. The little finger turned up three months later inside of a trout. Nolan Calvin and Mark Blackstone were enjoying a fishing trip on the same lake three months later when they made the grim discovery as they caught the trout eight miles from where Mr. Glassy had his accident. Weird, right? The anglers discovered Glassy's digit inside the fish's digestive tract while examining their catch on the shores of Priest Lake, Idaho. But of course, they didn't know whose finger it was. They called the police who put the digit on ice. Investigators then researched case files and reports, trying to establish where it came from. Then they fingerprinted it and sent it to their forensic team, who confirmed that it belonged to Mr. Glassy. Fortunately, he's been through intensive rehabilitation and has now regained some functionality in his hand, but he does not want to see his finger again. I don't need it back. It's worthless to me, he said. Police held on to the finger for a couple of weeks in case the unlucky wakeboarder changed his mind. Number 4. The Hungry Ostrich the ostrich is the world's largest bird and can reach over nine feet in height. It's a flightless bird. It has long, powerful legs and can travel over 40 miles an hour. It also has the largest eye of any land vertebrate, a whopping great two inches in diameter. This helps it spot any would-be predators trying to sneak up on it, allowing the big bird time to hightail. The ostrich diet generally consists of seeds, shrubs, grass, fruit, and flowers from which they also obtain water and some insects, but not always. Almost 100 years ago, a collection of objects in the stomach of an ostrich at post-mortem was documented in 1927. Coins, staples, screws, nuts, rope, and even shirts laid out on a board like the forensic remains of a pathologist or a taxidermist, or even a hardware store fire sale, the collection of relics had been devoured by the planet's largest bird, killed in captivity after being fed on a diet of human debris. The carefully assembled shrine includes metal tokens and folded fabric, a lace handkerchief, a glove, a pencil, and near the center of the collection, the fatal four-inch nail that killed the ostrich. The most likely reason this omnivorous ostrich ingested such a bizarre assortment of objects is less to do with any sad consequence of the bird's urban existence, but mainly to do with the fact ostriches swallow their food whole. Chew your food, people. Make sure it's food first. Number 3. Molly, the bra-eating dog. In 2010, a British dog underwent an emergency surgery. The sick pup in question, Molly, was seized from her owners, weighing half the weight of a normal Rottweiler and suffering a swollen stomach. When docs carried out an x-ray, they were stunned to discover the dog's belly was full of underwear. Twelve bras, in fact. When vet Michael Jefferson cut Molly open, he removed a bundle of 12 bras, which weighed 11 pounds. The underwear may have been in the poor pup's belly for up to three months and would have prevented her from eating. Molly has now been handed to new loving owners in Lincolnshire and is described as happy and healthy after making a full recovery. The original owners, who claimed they couldn't afford veterinary treatment, were banned from keeping animals for five years, fined $100 in order to pay the cost from the surgery. Interesting side note, the following is a list of just some of the more noteworthy items that have been removed from dogs and cats, uh, pens, baseballs, hearing aids, watches, and even a teddy bear. Thank goodness, all pets made full recoveries. So be extra careful when you buy your beloved pet a new chew toy. It might just end up inside its stomach. Number two. Sock eating dog. Speaking of dogs eating weird stuff, this next story will definitely remind you to pick up your dirty laundry. A three year old Great Dane was miserable and wretched when its owners rushed him to a Northwest Portland, Oregon emergency animal hospital. Turns out it was something he ate. X rays showed a stomach full of large quantities of foreign material. Nearly two hours of surgery later, Dr. Ashley McGee had the answer. The dog had consumed 43 and a half socks, perhaps the strangest case in the animal's hospital's history. The Great Dane recovered nicely and he was home a day after his surgery, but the discovery was so strange that the hospital entered the unique tale, complete with x-rays, in an annual contest sponsored by the Veterinary Practice News and won a prize. Fittingly enough, the contest is called They Ate What? The x-rays impressed the experts. The vet clinic won a $500 prize, losing out to a frog who gobbled up 30 rocks from the bottom of his cage and a German short-haired pointer who swallowed a metal shish kebab skewer. Is it just me, or are we seeing a trend here? As for the grumpy Great Dane with a belly full of socks, so far, no reported sock incidents. Can we get that dog a tennis ball, please? Number 1. 
Shark Eats Camera The terrifying experience of being devoured by a shark has been caught on camera after one of the predators attacked a GoPro, a very popular small yet versatile camera. Raymond Pascoe had the camera underwater during a fishing trip off Queensland, Australia when the dog's catch was being filleted and the leftovers thrown overboard. Initially, the feeding frenzy was only lemon sharks, which are thought to be non-threatening to humans. But then bull sharks crashed the party. Darn it, bull sharks! The amazing footage shows a shark's enormous jaws opening up to swallow the camera whole. In the murky interior behind the predator's razor-sharp teeth, bull sharks, which can grow up to 11 feet long, are territorial by nature, easily provoked, and have been blamed for the majority of nearshore shark attacks on humans. Maybe the shark was after the human. The 47-year-old had his camera on the end of a pole, which was fastened to his hand by a strap, but they were no match for the bull shark. The almost unlucky fisherman recalled, I would like to say that I tussled with the shark as I had a good grip on the camera camera pole, but it happened so quickly that I had no chance. The camera and pole were ripped from my grip and the wrist strap broke instantly. Moments later, the GoPro was spat out again before it resurfaced thanks to the float it was attached to, and the owner got his camera back. Sharks are very smart, so we assume it knew that the camera was not on the menu. That was 15 of the weirdest things ever found inside animals. Thanks for watching.